Sheffield United this mm-hmm. weekend. Is this your last home game of the season, Cass? I think it is. I think you might be right. Um, how I think we f- you might be right. You've got three more games to go. That's a maximum of nine points. Chef Southampton, Lewis. So three. Five, six, nine. <laughs> You're so smart. Mm-hmm. Um, how do we see this going? Um, yeah. Be tough. Chef will be a tough game before the break. They've got a lot of qualities, like a lot of threats, but um, hopefully we can take our form into it and, you know, control what we can control. Um, we're, we're in for shot. It'll be a tough game. Hmm. But we're, we're positive. We One thing I can say, we feel organised. We know our roles, we know our tasks before the game, and I think that's massive. And we know on the pitch we're holding each other accountable and we've got little triggers and reminders that we're all now starting to be on the same page. So, Did we talk the other day on a podcast about what Mitchie said with that last game against Charlton when, when you won at the death? Mm-hmm. She's like, I felt like a kid again. Mm-hmm. That makes me so happy. Because I just think it's nice. Like, even for you, 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 you are pretty miserable. Like, when it comes to, like, in general, um, being being happy about football. Like, mm. you're, quite, you're quite critical. You want it a certain way, which is rich coming for this one. But um, I think because she's evolved all of that team, which I think seems like a really good bunch three wins in a row I'm like it's pure happiness mm-hmm. kind of thing like it, it's yeah. that's what football's about yeah and it, it takes those moments no matter what team you're with to go oh, what a moment that was like mm-hmm. it gave you such a buzz for a minute yeah yeah it was it was a nice moment it was more like for me I think it was more just like oh Jesus there was probably a minute in the game and I thought right we've, we've blown this mm-hmm. um, I thought so too yeah when I saw flash score but, I was like oh my god out in the yeah. square it's like they've just won in 94 minutes Shani boy hello yeah, madness. What did she say? Nothing. She was buzzing, obviously. Yeah. She's buzzing. Um, but everyone was just, yeah, I think buzzing relieved. And then that was probably a nice thing that we go, okay, rest of the season, let's have it. Let's yeah. have it. Do you know what I mean? It's been a long, old season. Um, It's been a weird season. It's been such a weird season. But um, I, I think this is now, it's like, let's do all we can, survive, hopefully, and see where we can end up. Mm-hmm. get as many points on the board as possible yeah I wonder what will happen next season I know you can't speculate anything but with the takeover what will happen where the where the game will go I just think London City ugh, I really want to speak to Michelle Kang so badly that's something I sit and fantasise about is having a chat with her I know but she's probably heard if she hears any of this that we talk about she'll blah, and touch true it. true so I'll probably uh, drop me yeah, out yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> But it is, it's just a sleeping giant of a club. I mm-hmm. think the fact that it's not affiliated with any club and it can go where it wants to go um, with a good owner is just, it's very, very exciting. Skeet, 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 skeet. Um, Man's not hot, it's never hot. Heading into the international break, so you'll probably not be active for a while. No, I'll be inactive, I'll be off the face of the earth, undercover. Undercover. Um, can I ask one question? I know, maybe. What happens in camp stays in camp. Mm. But what would it be like? Because you dropped out of the last camp, touch wood, touch wood, due to the first uh, due to injury that first game at the Aviva for oh, Ireland. Aviva, right, okay. How are you feeling to go to the Aviva? Not really thought about it to be honest. Um, That's great then. Thanks very much for coming on with your yeah. positivity. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it'll be great to be back at the Aviva. I've never been, so well, I have been. Played there as a, a wee friendly once. But uh, I hopefully we can get as many fans in as possible. So. Mum's going to play in the stadium. She want to play in the big stadium. She want to do all that. So it'll be nice. Mum's going. Dad's going. Brogue's going. I'm going to do a watch along. Are ah, you right? Because in my head, I was like, how cute would it be if I could do it and if, if I was playing walk out with the kids? But you screwed me over. So oh, we can't because I but can't take. You, you could, but you didn't want to. I can't. Can't no, take time well, off work. You, it's it's your your choices, guys. It's your my choices. Are, my choices. I'd rather sit here and do a watch along. You're a fake fan. You'd probably <laughs> rather go running along to North London, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. To that place that I can't speak about that's where you'd rather be isn't it <laughs> and to, dead right and to, honestly yeah, uh, honestly uh-huh. just dead right mm. um no I think um one day it would be incredible to have them as mascots but Cass they're not going to be awake past eight o'clock they're going to walk out in that pitch mm. they'll hit the ground they've got that you honestly treat them like the newborns I'm like you've got you've got them downstairs you've got your goddamn baby cams on you've got your husband running about whispering to people in the house I'm like no they're all right they're literally in their teenage years now 
like they're fine they're at school see when so you, you have off a bit. Jude Bellingham's sperm mm. donor child yeah you come at me yes I'm, no, I'm saying what you done was great but now I'm like no honestly what you done like, is great not, they're not newborns anymore so just like listen up I'd love for listen them to up, be a mascot see? I think Reva could smash being a mm. mascot now I don't know if Brooks is there because of the noise mm. I think it'd freak your mouth he would, he would need I'd tell you that he'd be walking out like that I told her mum's getting little new defender she won't do it so he went to the cinema today at school so I'm wondering how that went on because it's what cinema's so loud these don't days, Rich. I like it. I don't like it. What's um, the sound? But apart from that, I don't. <laughs> you're all right. Um, no, I'm absolutely mm-hmm. smashing motherhood into a thousand pieces. Um, and it's it's going very, very well. But I think, when's when's the next home game then for Ireland? Right. Um, against England? So, so, sorry, after the England one, then it's, you've got, it's July. No, because the England return ones in Norwich in July, isn't it? I'm not sure. But you've got to have no. you've got to have at least three, guess them, because there's three there's Sweden. Sweden. Yes. When's that? France. So we've got Sweden on the bounce, but I don't know what one's first. So maybe we could get them out to, to try and be mascots at the Sweden game. I maybe but you'll probably come up with some other hideous excuse and I'll probably be injured or not selected for the next camp. So this is on you. You could potentially have blown this for me. Do you know what it is? Right. Cass, it's been mother of four. I've got two children, I've got you, I've got Jamie. Mm. I cannot miss work because I've got to put food on the table. Literally, you cook about once every three weeks. You go, I'll cook tonight. I'll cook tonight. That's bang out order. And then that's absolute out order. And here I'm, I'm literally putting food on the table, paying for it, cleaning up your room, packing up your crusty knickers off the floor. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. You're treating this place like a hotel, and you're speaking to me with utter disrespect and bringing my parents into it. That is questionable, highly <laughs> questionable. Um, well, I hope camp goes really, really well. Um, we'll miss you. See, I think what we should do That's is get... That's why black. Let's get you... <laughs> going to be off, off the old radar <laughs> for a while. Um, what I think would be um, brilliant is if we could get a live stream in the camp and then you and Lucy could do commentary of all the games. Aye, that's not going to happen. That's all I'll say. Oh, it's just the little things I wish for. I'm not That's asking bad. for a lot. That's bad. Why don't we start a petition, fans? Only fans. Like, you know Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey? Mm-hmm. They're, they're live streaming from the Super Bowl. I know. How come we cannot get in? I want to get in. I want to get in. Who can I try and get as a little guest for a watch along with the Ireland England game? I don't know, but who are we going to get when I'm back? Who are we going to get on this when I'm back to sit here in the middle of us? Yeah. Who are we going to get? Need to sort that out. One other thing I was going to... It's never hot. One thing I was going to ask you just before we go, are you mm. any further forward to booking a holiday yet? Because you texted me about Dubai the other day and I wondered what your plans were. Oh, that wasn't for me. All oh, right. No, that wasn't actually for me. Um, that was for someone else. Um, I've got a wedding in summer and that's all I've got sorted right now. And then obviously we have camps throughout summer. So we need to suss out when I finish, What we need to sit down with s and See what I can take off. Do they want me to take a week off right at the end of the season? Do they want me to keep training for another couple of weeks? We need to figure it all out. So I'm kind of a mess. It's mm. a pure shambles now that I'm on it. Who plans internationals in <laughs> the middle of the off-season? It's absolute horseshit. Guys, don't say that in case they don't select you. It's not the, it's not the FBI's fault. It's UEFA? UEFA that has organised it. Yeah, it's shocking. Right. It's absolute shocking, I must say. It's shambles. Where do you think you would go though? Like, if you could choose one place to go this summer, where would it be? Um, um, <laughs> that's a horrible noise. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I've not really thought about it. Anywhere sunshine. I just need sunshine beach. Kind of want to go to Sicily actually. Seen about that popping up. Sicily and I'm like, Sicily good, would yeah. be nice. Yep. Um, at least lovely in it. So that'd be a nice spot to go to. Uh, final question before we go. Mm-hmm. Um. WSL, yeah. title race, mm. uh, let's just focus there quickly, finished up for the international break, who's winning the league? I'm going to go Chelsea. I think Man City are in there, but I think Chelsea have just got this, <clears throat> they've got their teeth eye in yet, they have that, they're, mm, they're so close and there's a lot at stake right now and they just might have that kind of unity and togetherness to kind of do it for Emma Hayes, do it for each other. Um, I am going to go Chelsea. Okay. 
I think I'm going to go Chelsea too. Uh, Roosh, mm. be safe. It can't be good. Look after yourself. Don't get yourself in any trouble. Short but sweet ep. I don't um, get myself in trouble. Trouble follows me. Oh my God, please get over yourself. Mm. Um, any chance you'll make the dinner tonight? I may be, it's actually. Oh, get in my belly. Uh, okay, thank you very much for watching. And um, we can split up those vids for you. We'll see what we're doing. We're looping everyone in. Everyone. Uh, Rush, thank you. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.